In the aftermath of overturning Roe versus Wade, many Democrats are urging President Biden to use executive action to protect and expand abortion access. While the White House's power in this arena is limited, a group of military veterans argue that the administration could expand access to care through the Federal Department of Veterans Affairs. It's an idea with potentially big impact. The VA is the largest integrated health care system in the country. It has nearly 1,300 facilities, and it serves as the primary provider for more than 600,000 female veterans. White House correspondent Laura Barone Lopez has been reporting on this idea, and she joins me now. So, hello, Laura. Hi. You have been doing a lot of reporting on mm -hmm. this. Um, tell us what is it that these veterans and Democrats are asking the president to do? So, these Democrats and veterans are asking President Biden to issue an executive action that directs the Veterans Affairs to provide abortion services and abortion counseling. Those are things that the VA currently does not do at all, and they believe that they have the authority to do that via executive action and via rulemaking. Now, today I talked to Amy McGrath. She's a retired Marine lieutenant colonel and a 2018 Democratic Senate candidate, and she's pushing the White House on this. And here's what she had to say about the obligation she thinks the government uh, owes to these veterans. If the VA doesn't step up and provide these health care services in these states where um, abortion health care services are now banned, then the federal government and the VA is not then taking care of those of us who are women veterans who frankly fought for our country, fought for our rights in our constitution, and now have just had a basic right um, taken away. Now, like McGrath, I also spoke to Congresswoman Julia Brownlee, and she's on the Veterans Affairs Committee in the House, and she told me that she is also pushing the White House and the administration on this, and that since the Roe decision came down, that she has been speaking repeatedly to VA Secretary Dennis McDonough and has been asking him to move forward on this. And so, Laura, what have you learned about what the administration thinks about this? So. VA Secretary Dennis McDonough has actually talked about this with Congress as recently as April, so before the decision came down, and he said that our statute would allow us to provide abortion services. We do not provide abortion services pursuant to rulemaking. It's not that I feel it. It's that the law does permit. And so today, I asked White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre what she had to say about the VA secretary's comments, as well as whether or not the White House was going to pursue executive action. And here's what she said. The administration and the VA are committed to pro providing health care to veterans, and the VA continues to offer reproductive health care uh, services uh, to their veterans as well. Um, as you note, uh, current regulation uh, doesn't allow for the VA to provide abortions. Uh, we are going to continue to review, we're going to continue to explore every possible option to protect women's rights and access to reproductive health. And so, as you hear there, the White House is being very cautious right now. Essentially, part of that is because of the fact that they're concerned about potential legal challenges, not just with a proposal like this, but with any other executive action proposal that President Biden could pursue. And also, what we know about President Biden is that, as someone who was a part of a member of the Senate for so long, so many years, that he prefers Congress to take action first before he goes the route of executive actions. Well, as you say, we know there are that many of these executive actions people are proposing to the White House could face legal challenges. What do we know about the legal challenges this could face? Right. So the, the short answer is that it is probably going to happen. Uh, simply because almost everything that the president does will be challenged, given the nature of the Supreme Court decision and the, the creativity that the White House may be pursuing. But so I want to dive a little deeper. The, the Republicans have argued that a 1992 law that was passed regarding veterans' health care uh, prohibits the Veterans Affairs Department from providing abortions. Now, I spoke to a number of legal experts, some lawyers today, and they said, though, that they think that the Veterans Affairs could have a strong case because that 1992 law is so narrow in its language and what it specifically provides to the VA that it does not apply to pre-existing authority that the VA had or subsequent authority that was bestowed upon the VA. And so the lawyer told me that they think that the VA could very well potentially move forward with this and have a strong legal case. Now, we also spoke to 
uh, Patrick Murray, who's a legal affairs uh, legal uh, director for the Veterans of Foreign Wars, a veteran service organization, and he supports one element of what these Democrats and veterans are pushing. He says that his organization believes that they can, that the VA has the authority to provide abortion counseling, that they don't need to change any law to do that, that that is something that they can do via rulemaking. Uh, but again, Judy, to your point, a lot of this is going to end up in the courts. So knowing that, knowing these challenges are coming, why are these advocates pushing so hard despite that? So we're talking about executive actions here, right? Because to get to this point, it means that almost all other options have been exhausted, which is that the Supreme Court handed down a very big decision reversing Roe versus Wade. There is no bipartisanship in Congress right now that would push forward a law that would codify Roe versus Wade. And so ultimately what the president is left with is his executive authority, and that's what Democrats are arguing with him. And Julia Brownlee also added, the congresswoman, that mm -hmm. she thinks that it would help the president score some political points with his base, as well as independent uh, women, independent voters. And she essentially said that the White House should not be worried about the legal challenges and should simply pursue these actions. That's their view. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. All right. Laura Barone Lopez on top of the story. Thank you very much. Thank you.